What's up everyone? My name is Nick. I live in Malaysia and I've lived here for over 11 years. However, I am originally from the Netherlands, a tiny country in Europe, and I'll be flying back this September to meet my family and my friends there, and I'm bringing my wife and my son Milo. I'm super excited, so I thought today was, well, today is a wonderful day. I'm out here in the park and I want to tell you about the main differences between the Netherlands and Malaysia. Now, without any further ado, let's Let's get this video started. This is Global Given. All right, so I've done another video similar to this one about the differences between the Netherlands and Malaysia, but I thought today I'd dive a little bit deeper and talk more about specific differences between these two countries from my own eyes. Now, I know it's a little bit confusing because there's a lot of words to describe the Netherlands. Officially, the country is called the Kingdom of the Netherlands, also known as the Netherlands. Now, people also call the Netherlands Holland, which was derived from many, many years ago when most of the population used to live in North Holland and South Holland, which are two provinces. So it's easier or it's more common these days to say Holland. Now, the people living in the Netherlands are called Dutch people, the Dutch. We are Dutch. And yes, it's very confusing, but that's just how it is. <laughs> All right, so the first main difference, the very obvious one is, of course, the weather. Well, I'm out in the park here in Malaysia right now and I am sweating, it is humid, it is hot. In Malaysia, there are kind of only two seasons, but they're not really seasons. There is uh, the whole year, which is just nice and hot and humid. And then a couple months in the year, it rains, which is the monsoon season. It just rains a lot more. That's between October and roughly March. Now in the Netherlands, it's very different. We actually have four different seasons and very specific seasons. We got summer, autumn, spring and winter. In the Netherlands, it rains a lot more and it's actually a lot colder. Besides that, in winter, it could snow and here in Malaysia, there is no snow, except if you go up to Mount Kinabalu and you're lucky, it might snow a little bit. But in the Netherlands, if it's a good snow year, we get about two or three weeks of snow and yeah, you can actually make snowmen which I remember doing many, many years ago, and it's just a great experience. So definitely a very big difference between the Netherlands and Malaysia. It's the weather. It's humid and hot here the whole year. And in the Netherlands, it can be hot for maybe two or three months. And then it's just rainy, cold and windy for the rest of the year. Hey, 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 where are you guys? Oh. There you are. So let's talk about the next main difference between the Netherlands and Malaysia. And obviously that's food. Malaysia has so much food, so much variety of food and every culture has their own different food here. There's a lot of uh, influences from India, from China, from local Malay people. They have their own dishes and even the, the, the tribes that live here in Sarawak, they have their own dishes. So there's such an extreme variety of amazing food here in Malaysia. Now, in the Netherlands, it's a little bit different. I don't even know if we have like an actual national dish. Um, one comes to mind, which is uh, called Hutspot, which is a nice dish. I love it. It's basically mashed potatoes with some um, vegetables, could be carrots and onions, or could be kale, and you mash it up. And yep, you just have a plate full of mashed potatoes and veggies. You'll put a nice sausage on top with some gravy and maybe some pickled onions. I actually looked up the top 10 Dutch national dishes uh, earlier today and I found out that the, there's at least three dishes on there that aren't even Dutch. It's uh, satay, which is uh, Indonesian, and it's got lumpia on there, which is uh, like a spring roll from Vietnam. So not really typically Dutch dishes. So in Malaysian cooking, you'll use a lot of spices and chilies, and there's just so many flavors. Dutch food, not so much. The typical Dutch food, like I said, the mashed potatoes with vegetables are quite bland. That's definitely a big, big difference between the Netherlands and Malaysia. All right, next up is culture. There is definitely a big difference between the Dutch culture and the Malaysian culture. Let's talk about family. So family in the Netherlands is considered your inner family. That means your parents, your brother and your sister. And that's basically the family when we talk about meeting up with family. Here in Malaysia, a family is so much more. 
it is your uncles, your aunties, your nieces, your nephews, your second cousin, your fifth cousin, and even that person that you know is related to you and just always hangs out at the house. And in the Netherlands, it's common to meet your family, which is your inner family, your closer family, regularly, maybe weekly, to your bigger family, which includes your aunties and uncles. You meet them maybe once or twice a year, um, especially during special occasions like a birthday or a family weekend. Here in Malaysia, you regularly meet with your family, which is your larger family. So my wife is local, she's from Malaysia, and when we meet up with the family, it is generally with the big family, with all the nephews, the nieces, the cousins, and uncles and aunties. We meet more regularly with a larger family than we do in the Netherlands, I guess. So that is definitely a very big difference culture-wise between the Netherlands and Malaysia. All right, are you ready for the next one? The next one is nature. There is an obvious big difference between the Netherlands and Malaysia when it comes to nature. Malaysia is home to some pristine rainforests. There is actually still primary forest here in Malaysia. There are beautiful beaches with clear water that you can swim at. There are beautiful jungle streams with intense waterfalls. In the Netherlands, it's a little bit different. The Netherlands is, uh, is as flat as a pancake. The highest point in the Netherlands is only about 322 meters above sea level. So yes, it's definitely very flat. There are a lot of forests that are actually planted by humans. So these are forests with trees in straight lines. There's definitely no primary forest anymore. We do have a lot of canals and rivers, but then again, Malaysia also has a lot of rivers, not that many canals though. And yeah, that's definitely a very big difference, especially the height in elevation. The Netherlands is really flat. Compare that to the highest point here in Malaysia, which is Mount Kinabalu, at over 4,000 meters in elevation. Definitely one of the biggest differences between Malaysia and the Netherlands. All right, so I've got another topic that is definitely a big difference between Malaysia and the Netherlands, which is perhaps a little sensitive one, but I wanted to talk about it anyways. It is the separation of government and religion. Here in Malaysia, religion is a big part of life as a Malaysian and even as someone visiting Malaysia. It is very obvious here. In the Netherlands, it's very different. Religion and government are two very separate things. I remember opening up a bank account here in Malaysia a long time ago, and I had to register my religion which is something that would definitely not happen. It is impossible in the Netherlands. It is, I believe, even illegal to ask someone their race or religion in a job interview. Here, this is one of the main things that you would tell your employer. So, definitely very different between the Netherlands and Malaysia. Oh my, oh my, those chicadas here are loud and it is hot! <laughs> All right, so let's talk about another very interesting uh, difference between Malaysia and the Netherlands, which is its history. So let's look at the capitals of each country. Kuala Lumpur is the capital here in Malaysia, and it was founded in 1857, if I'm correct, which means that it was founded about 165 years ago. The capital of the Netherlands, which is Amsterdam, was actually founded in 1275. That means the capital of the Netherlands was founded almost 750 years ago. Now that is a big, big difference. Fun fact, did you know that the Dutch were in Malacca for over 164 years? Yes, the Dutch ruled Malacca from the 16th century till about the 18th century, which was a very, very long time that the Dutch were here in Malaysia. All right, when people find out that I am from the Netherlands, they always ask me two things. Whether it is really legal to smoke weed in the Netherlands and whether you can visit these special red boxes and pay for sex. Well, yes, that is true. In the Netherlands, you can buy marijuana, weed in coffee shops. Yes, we call them coffee shops and they're very different than the coffee shops here in Malaysia. And it is true that in Amsterdam and certain other cities in the Netherlands, you can walk up to a window with a lady behind it, walk inside, they'll close the curtains, and you can pay this person to have sex with you. 
In the Netherlands, this is absolutely normal, but I can imagine that for Malaysians, this is rather unusual. Definitely a very big difference between Malaysia and the Netherlands. By the way, speaking of coffee and coffee shops, did you know that I really love coffee? And if you like my videos and you want to support my channel, you can go to a website called buymeacoffee.com slash globalgibbon and you can just basically buy me a cup of coffee. I would appreciate it a lot. Thanks so much. All right, I had so much fun doing research and thinking about what I wanted to talk about in this video because it made me think more about my home country, the Netherlands, and I'm super excited that I'm going to take my wife and my son to the Netherlands. It will be my first trip back home in four years, so I am super excited. Now, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave that like. Leave a comment, tell me your thoughts. If you're not subscribed for some reason, click that subscribe button right now. This is it. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.